Falling from the sky, the typology is formed as a slab. Seven slabs are stacked and offset. After the slabs are alternating shearing angles of negative 20 and positive 20 degrees. Then the unit massings are added to the slab forming negative space. Later, the basic shoots out of the bottom slab creating a retail and hawker center. Our building has two types of units, one that is two stories and has 338 square feet and one single story unit with 320 square feet. So the intention for having one single story and one two story unit to start off with is so when we form the clusters, there will always be negative space above the two story units, which allows us to create a long path for an open terrace on one elevation and a more solid figural elevation on the other facade, differing the elevations greatly. After developing the slab into a usable space, stairs are added for an open vertical circulation. The framing is then attached to units. Hinting at the idea of the game Tetris, bold colored panels fall into place emphasizing the stacking effect. After, the rest of the building is bold colored to further highlight the stacking effect in Tetris game. The north facade represents the rhomboidal shape that is formed by the 20 and negative 20 degree shearing. With the units protruding outward, it creates a deeper depth, which the corridor then appears to recede. On top of this, the units allow there to be a long negative space every three floors for a garden. On the south elevation, the units are contained within themselves through an exterior framing, making the south elevation much more figural. The cluster of the B units are almost objectified and become a real object independent from the rhomboidal figure. A section cut of the south facade underscores the figural shape while also showing moments in the interior that breaks the repetitiveness. In the unit level plans, we have included amenity spaces and common areas such as an open lounge gaming area and a laundry room that includes a dry cleaning service as well as a laundromat. And as aforementioned, there are terraces every three floors in the negative spaces caused by the configurations of the clusters. In the typical plan, there are moments of greenery in the smaller terrace spaces, but in the atypical plan, there is an L-shaped terrace that wraps along the west elevation. The ground floor contains a lot of public space. On the north side, there are retail stands and stores. On the south side, we have included a hawker center that includes food stalls and a courtyard for people to eat at. These two public spaces are separated from the residential area in the middle through landscaping hedges and walkways that have access to the fitness center within the building. An easier way to read and comprehend the ground plan is as a program diagram. We configured the zones into a bar-like system, each separated by a row of landscaping. Having our building oriented this way allows a completely different experience of the apartment depending on whether someone is walking or driving northbound or southbound on Broadway, as well as having the entrances to the public retail areas and Hawker Center facing the street without disrupting the residents' privacy.